Hello everyone, my name is Zephyr, and welcome to Quick Review. This is a series where I cover things quickly, and today we're going to be covering the Transformers Legacy G2 Universe Grimlock. There isn't a whole lot that I could say about this figure that countless reviewers haven't already said, but I'm really happy to own the 86 Grimlock mold, because from what I hear, it is the definitive new Grimlock mold. And I am extremely happy that I found it in this deco. And pretty funny story with this guy, which is either a big coincidence or definitive proof that I'm being spied on. So it all starts with me interacting with a post on Instagram with this exact same Grimlock, the G2 deco. And me leaving a comment saying, oh man, I missed out on this Grimlock. It's such a cool deco. I wish I was able to pick him up when I had the chance. Well... <laughs> Later that same day, I go to Walmart to get some snacks, and I decide to pass by the toy aisle to see if they have any of the new stuff, and I guess I should be thankful that my local Walmart never stocked shit, because they had not one, not two, but three of these G2 Deco Grimlocks. So a couple of days ago, I created a poll on my channel asking whether you guys think that he needs more stripes or not, because... I absolutely love the metallic tiger stripe deco that he has, but it sucks that he only has it on his tail section when I feel like he should have more of it throughout his body. So even though the pole is very 50-50, I decided to add the extra stripes anyway, and I'm very happy I did, and I even went about it the smart way. What I ended up doing to avoid damaging the figure and ruining it forever was I painted over some clear scotch tape so that way I could remove the deco if I ever decide to later on, and I did it with some silver metallic marker to give it the nice metallic finish, and I went over it with some teal green to color match it, and it matches almost perfectly. Here are the before shots before I decided to add the extra stripes, and as you can see, I really focused on the metallic blue sections of the figure because I was really trying to make sure I get the correct color. And here are the pictures of the Grimlocks that I used for reference when adding these stripes on, and... As you can tell, I copied them a little bit, but also did a little bit of my own thing. I don't have any translucent blue plastic, nor do I feel like painting it blue, as I actually think the orange neck piece suits the figure pretty well. So, spinning the figure around, you'll see that I put the decos in places where it makes sense. So, as you can see, along the sides of his feet, so that way it carries on the deco into robot mode, on the sides of the torso, and on the backs of his head. I went ahead and sped up the transformation, and getting this guy into robot mode, as you can see, pretty much all of the extra decos that I added onto him completely disappear, with the exceptions of the extra tampos that I added onto the sides of his feet. And it just makes the character look so much better. And I think it's really neat how it just hides in robot mode. Yet, if you still want to see them, all you gotta do is move a couple of panels on his back. And there you go. Now, I know I've been yapping on about how I added custom decos to this figure. But the figure itself absolutely shines and is a borderline masterpiece at an affordable price point. Now, apart from me thinking that he could have used more of the tiger stripes, one thing that is actually disappointing is that he doesn't come with his iconic sword. He just comes with the same gun that the regular Studio Series Grimlock came with. And while the gun is cool, the tiny little nubs at the tip of the blaster are so incredibly small that any blast effects that you try to put on the end of the blaster just fall off and they do not want to stay. Getting into size comparisons, here I have him next to Siege Sideswipe and he makes Sideswipe look like a small boy. And here I have him next to a figure that I just covered not too long ago. Here I have him next to the new Legacy Vector Prime, and he scales a little bit better, but Grimlock still towers over him. So as we're wrapping up this video, allow me to drop some trivia on you guys, because this is actually the very first time, officially at least, that we're getting this deco, because way back in G2, we were originally supposed to get this deco until they just settled on giving us a blue Grimlock and called it a day. 
and this was just scrap this was just prototype i hope you guys enjoyed this quick review of legacy g2 grimlock i know i mostly just harped on the custom decals that i put on them so let me know in the comments do you think i should keep them on or should i just take them all off and if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe as it greatly helps out the channel and thank you for watching